Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. I see so many familiar faces. If I could come and hug and welcome each one of you, I would. Thank you so much for making time today to be with us for the first ever inaugural Women's Health Symposium presented by TELUS Health. Woo! Woo I realize just how busy this time and every time of the year is for us, and I, I really do sincerely appreciate that you're taking the time and you're investing it in yourself and for your own health, for the health of your loved ones and your family. You guys are going to learn so much incredible stuff today by our incredible speakers that have dedicated their time and their intellect to be with us. I am so thrilled and so excited. So I'm Juggy. I'm the Vice President of Consumer Health here at TELUS. Uh, I'm also privileged to be a founding member and current executive sponsor of the Vancouver Connections chapter. I'm privileged to also be a board director with the Vancouver General Hospital here in Vancouver. And I am thrilled to champion this Women's Health Symposium today exclusively for each of you, our TELUS team members. Before we begin, well, what I expect is gonna be really empowering and a truly an uplifting event. I wanna acknowledge that the land on which we are meeting today is on the traditional and unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, the traditional territories of the Squamish, Musqueam, and tsleil First Nations. This symposium, you guys, is intended to be inclusive of all team members, of all genders and gender identities, and this is a safe place to ask questions during the Q&A period. After each presenter, we're gonna have a Q&A period. I hope you guys saw the email. We're gonna use this really cool tool called Slido, and you're gonna be able to vote up the questions that you wanna have asked. And I have no doubt that you're gonna leave this session feeling invigorated and equipped to better manage your health and, uh, and support your loved ones with very key actionable takeaways from each of the speakers. And it's a really special day today, I think, as we come together to talk about very important women's health issues. Undeniably, our bodies are biologically very different than our male counterparts. And our health choices stem from having access to the very best information, resort, and support tools that make sense for us as women. And for the men that are in the audience, thank you for being here. I know you have women that are special in your lives, and, uh, and you're going to learn a great deal as well. And thank you for being at our event. We were sold out right away as soon as we sent the notes out to people to come to this event, which is very heartening. I want you guys to know that we had a very long wait list and we've opened up some of that wait list this morning to see if anyone else wants to join. We're videotaping this entire experience and we will be sending this link out to all of you, to all of those people on the wait list and to all of those people across the country uh, and across even the world here for TELUS uh, that would like to have access to this content. So the content is going to be made available. And I think what's really important for me um, is on behalf of the senior leadership team here at TELUS, I want you guys to know that your health and well-being matters to us a great deal, okay? Um, we know how challenging managing your health is as well as the health of your loved ones. Um, and in most homes, the female in the family is the chief health officer uh, of the family as well, right? Hands up if you're managing the health of your family. Okay, look around you guys. Okay, it's up to us, okay? <laughs> So you matter a lot. You matter a lot to me. You matter a lot to tell us. We want you guys to be healthy. We want you to be happy. We want you to be productive, okay? <laughs> but, but you know what? That, that can only happen if we're enabling you with the right information, support, and tools so that you can manage all those other aspects of your life too. So today is a really important milestone on that journey, I think. And when you think about women's health, you guys will be really, I think, surprised to learn about the lack of research, the lack of investment, the lack of process changes for women's health issues. We experience health differently than men do. And we have different needs. And you can't just transpose a model that's historically been made and developed around men onto women. And I can tell you, I can attest, many of you probably know about my personal story about my mom uh, when she had a heart attack about now eight years ago. And uh, we were in the healthcare system and she was not having a typical male's heart attack. And so we were being sent home with indigestion pills, right? Until that last troponin test, uh, which is a, a heart enzyme test that they give you, that last test said, actually, no, this is, a, this is actually a heart attack. So you guys need to stay. And, and anyway, and then the story just goes on, but that was largely the impetus behind why I moved into the health area several years ago. 
and why I'm really passionate about delivering better health care and revolutionizing access to health care and, and truly why I'm here today with the Women's Health Symposium because women's health is different. We have different needs uh, and we absolutely need the system to evolve to be able to support and modernize to support women's health needs. So without a doubt, unfortunately, historically, women have been an afterthought in the healthcare system. Uh, in the 90s, not until the 90s, women were not included in most medical research studies. Uh, or, or even, you know, women and men are physiologically different. Many prescription drug therapies and treatments still in use today are, were disproportionately studied on men. And were different, okay? Uh, and also, did you know that according to the Women's Brain Health Initiative, women are twice as likely as men to develop dementia? Despite the fact that almost 70% of Alzheimer's sufferers today are women, research has still traditionally been focused on men. Um, it's become more widely known, as I just shared with you, that heart attack symptoms in women may be harder to recognize than the classic, you know, chest clutching Hollywood heart attack. Uh, and, and women are more likely, unfortunately, than men to die or to have a second heart attack within the first six months of a cardiac event. And when you have a cardiac arrest, which is essentially your heart just stops, and Dr. Tara Sedlak will share much more on, on heart health uh, for women shortly. But uh, you know, women have poorer outcomes uh, as it relates to cardiac arrest as well than men, and they need different types of protocols. And, and, and while medical researchers are learning more still about the differences, uh, we still have a long, long way to go. Uh, but I think I'm inspired and, and really motivated uh, by being in the healthcare system today, by having fabulous women healthcare practitioners that are here today to share their insights and intellect with us. Things are changing, but they're not going to continue to change and they're not going to accelerate that change until we get a part of it and we try to drive that change and that's what we're doing. Yes, woohoo! You can do that all day. I think um, you know creating and, and, and sponsoring this event, as I mentioned, is is truly very personal to me. And uh, you know, gender disparities within health will only change, as I said, uh, through discussions like this, through meetings like this, through you know corporate decisions around funding, like Telus has been making uh, over time. And, and we hope that with our philanthropy and our social capitalism that we will inspire other organizations and governments to, to do more. And we can set an example on that front, you guys. You are all a part of that transformation and it is happening. You know, there's undisputed evidence that women, when, when, when women are healthy, all corners of our society benefit, don't they? Not just in regards to overall wellness, but socially and economically as well. You know, you hear us talk about diversity and why diversity matters. Well, diversity matters in a corporate setting really because we'll get better thought, and that better thought will actually lead to better outcomes. And how? Well, we know as an organization that we're serving a diverse population of people, aren't we? And if we kind of look a little more like the customers that we're trying to serve, chances are we'll be a little bit better in tune with what their needs are if they're different from the main. And if we're more in tune with what their needs are, chances are we'll be able to better serve them. And if we better serve them, oh, there are the numbers, right? All of the results then will follow for shareholders and for investors alike. So today, you guys, the theme, the theme for today is empower. We want to empower you with new information that will be relevant to your health and the health and well-being of your family and your loved ones. We are, we are absolutely inspired to give you vital, actionable information across five key areas of women's health so that you can live optimally. Uh, to create today's program, we gathered feedback from consumer health community members. How many here are a member of the consumer health community? Oh yeah, okay, great, okay. So, so please be, please join, right? Go slash community, just join it. This, as a vice president of consumer health, I wanna make sure that what we do from an organization perspective is we build solutions that are based on health needs that Canadians identify to us. We use the consumer health community as a very key group that help us shape the strategy around health. So if you're passionate about health, if you know people that tell us who are passionate about it and you don't, uh, you don't find the job on my team to apply for right away, then please join the health community and be a part of the movement. Tell us health is a part of each and every one of you guys, right? So this is part of our organization. We started this company about 10 years ago. We've invested almost $3 billion. They keep telling me 2.5, Jackie, 2.5. 3 billion, okay? <laughs> almost 3 billion at the rate that we're going. 
And uh, and so this is this is your this is the, what other telecommunications company is doing what we're doing in this regard? Nobody, okay? It's us. They're sponsoring sports teams, and you know, go Blue Jays. But anyway, um, <laughs> go Raptors, right? Uh, we the North. Anyway, um, I think. Uh, but seriously, right? We, we Darren, Darren Entwistle, our incredible, brilliant CEO. He made this decision ten years ago to say, you know what? Healthcare revolution is is probably one of the most important challenges, social challenges of our generation. The public sector is not going to be able to handle it on their own. The private sector needs to get involved. We need to partner to be able to change the healthcare experience. We're spending a quarter of a trillion dollars every year. That's right, quarter of a trillion dollars every year on healthcare in Canada. We are getting older. We are not necessarily getting healthier, uh, which means that the healthcare system is getting further and further taxed. We need better solutions. So what did we say? We said, we will leverage technology to create remarkable health outcomes. And that's what we've been doing for the last 10 years, and there's no stopping in sight. So today, okay, we're on a strategic journey to support the total well-being of our team. And I need you guys to know that um, whether you're in need of professional counseling as offered from our employee and family assistance program, uh, whether you're looking to take advantage of dollars allocated to your well-being account, so some great activity there from our people and culture team to, to modernize that, whether you're participating in mental health training or you're wanting to get active and social in our annual Tell Us Wellbeing Challenge, the choice of how you're going to boost your well-being is yours. And you're going to hear a lot today about how you need to make your health and your well-being a priority. Self-care is not, I've been reading about this, self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. You guys, please put yourselves first. Do it unapologetically, don't be guilty about it. It's kind of like the, you know, on, when you're on the plane, right, and you gotta take care of yourself in order to take care of everyone else. And I'm not saying that you wanna take care of yourself so that you can take care of everyone else. I want you to take care of yourself so that you can live your, I'm like Oprah. I'm like Oprah, did I just say that? <laughs> I'd like to be like Oprah. <laughs> anyway, I want you guys to live. I want you guys to live your best self, right? And and live optimally. And so that's that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna see today. So as I mentioned, we're recording the event. So even the I'm like Oprah comment. Um, <laughs> Chris, we can take care of that, or we're gonna send it straight to Winfrey, right? Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> We're going to make sure that this, uh, the content today is widely accessible and available, okay? So if, 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 if I know you're going to love what you're going to see today, you want to watch it with your loved ones and your family, and et cetera, share it with them, okay? Because we want everyone, everyone to be healthy. So I noticed that many of you guys um, had a chance to check out some of the interactive stations in the room. And if you haven't yet, they're going to be here for the entire session. So at the break, we're going to have a break. I'd encourage you guys at the refreshment break or even after the event to go and visit them. Um, at the consumer health table, you're going to learn about our portfolio of products such as Babylon by TELUS Health. Um, how many people here have downloaded the Babylon by TELUS Health? Oh, all your hands should be going up here, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> unless you're from Alberta, OK? Um, or any other province. Please do it. There's no charge to you, OK? You'll be able to. I, I have received. Like, I'm not even kidding you. We launched the service about two months ago. I have received like 100 or more testimonials from you guys, okay? From people within the company, people outside of the company that are just amazed at the level of convenience. If you haven't heard about it, then I've done a poor marketing job. But um, basically what it is is you're able to see your doctor online on your phone anytime, anywhere. Okay, it's as simple as that. And in BC, the service is available for free. There's no charge, MSP covers it. Just like you'd be going into a walk-in clinic, or God forbid you end up in the ER because you have a health issue and your doctor's not available, okay? And it doesn't really warrant an ER visit, but you're gonna now be there for four hours, okay? Um, after hours care, on weekends and on holidays, our service is open and available. So I've received so many testimonials from people telling me their own stories. And you know, people talk about privacy in healthcare. Okay, here's what I have to say about privacy in healthcare, okay? It, it doesn't matter when you need it the most, okay? I think people worry a lot about privacy. Now, don't get me wrong. We'll have the strictest privacy protocols. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what am I about to say, okay? Um, we have very strict, we adhere to all the regulations and more, okay, around privacy. But what I'll say is if you've ever had a health event and you need help, you do not care if that information is being text messaged, it's on a poster, it's being on Twitter, okay, it doesn't matter. At that point in time, you need help. And so you want anyone who can, can help you to see the information and to get access to that information. As it relates to the testimonials that I've been getting, I'm hearing all the stories, okay? This is what happened to me. This is what happened to my child. This is what happened to my husband. Uh, this is what, my, what happened to my mom. And this is how the service 
this helped me. I saved time. I saved anxiety. I, I, I didn't have to go to the ER. Our spring break was saved. Uh, you know, there's so many stories about how the service has been able to help. This is a service that your company is actually bringing to market. And we already have, in like two months, and don't tell people outside this room, okay, we have more than 30,000 people in BC already using the service. The scale and the amplification is, yeah, wow. The scale and amplification of the service is incredible. I have never seen a product, I've been here a long time, you guys, okay? I've been here, <laughs> that's why I know all of you. Um, I've, 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 personally, I've been here for, you know, almost 25 years, and, and I've been a part, I've been privileged to be a part of so many amazing product and service launches in this company, everything from cell phones, yeah, cell phones, okay, I launched those, okay? And the internet, okay, right? Seriously, I know some of you guys work with me on the internet, okay, high-speed internet. And, um, and then, you know, voice portals, and then TV service, right? And then healthcare services. I have never seen customers be as evangelical about the uh, service that TELUS has launched as much as they are about the Babylon by TELUS Health Service. As soon as you use the service, not as soon as you download the service, as soon as you use the service, you will also become an ambassador for the service because you see how easy it is to use and then you want to tell all your friends and family about it because you want them to be healthy and happy too and not to have the inconvenience of worry or the inconvenience and anxiety of Dr. Google Okay, when you can't get a doctor, then you have that rare disease, that's 1%, right? <laughs> I've had many of them. Anyway, um, and now you, can, now you have access to something much more reliable and, uh, and much more calming. Okay, so today we also have uh, members of our benefits team and wellness and health services team over there that can help answer your questions and offer more information. And so a few key things, right, you guys? New this year and available since March 1st, eligible team members now have access to $5,000 in health benefits for mental health support. You have $5,000, okay? And, and that mental health support, you, uh, you guys, is for everyone, okay? We can all benefit from mental health support, I believe, fully and firmly. You have $500 in your well-being account, and you have a lifetime maximum this is very important, okay, for people who want to have children, okay? Um, you have a lifetime maximum of $15,000 now for fertility treatments and drugs. And we're not done, okay? We're not done yet. And so I was laughing with Dr. Caitlin Dunn, who is going to talk about fertility treatments and how you can, how you can leverage those dollars too. Um, you know, about nine, 10 months from now, you know, half this room's gonna be gone. <laughs> and, and that's great. I believe that, okay? I have half my team, I have 60% of my team is women, and many of them are having children, and that is wonderful, okay? And so now we're championing to try and get daycare uh, access. I'm not kidding, I have a team of people that are looking at on-site daycare, okay? It's, it's, uh, we're, we're now, ne maybe next year I'll announce that it's launched, okay? But, uh, but right now we need the support and, uh, and we need healthy, we have, you, just because you wanna have children doesn't mean you're, you have, you, you're still no less ambitious with your career, right? Or you should at least have the option to be no less ambitious with your career. And I have women on my team that go on mat leave and are, are, are loving being a mom and then they're like, Juggy, I wanna come back into work and I, I still wanna become a director, a VP or whatever in this organization and they stay in touch with me and they come back and if they want, they have just as challenging a career opportunity as they did before that they had children and that's what great looks like to me. Okay, so please, you guys, um, I should stick to my script, right? I mean, I can just keep talking. <laughs> There's things I have to tell you and things I want to tell you. Okay, uh, during the break and after the event, please also visit the community resource table where our amazing speakers have generously brought along resources for you to take a look at, which is staffed by some of their colleagues who can help answer those questions that you might have about the presentation. So just again, speaking of questions, today we're going to collect your questions digitally. Okay, so I love technology and I think this is cool. Um, it's a cool website called Slido. If you haven't done, uh, uh, if you haven't yet done so, please, and you guys use your phones, okay? Maybe not to check your email, but if you want to tweet today or post anything on Instagram or you want to participate in the Q&A, bring your phones out. Come to the www.sli.do and then you enter the code TELUS. You can do it now. And during each presentation, 
We encourage you guys to submit your questions or vote up questions that, I mean, I'm sure many of you have the same types of questions that you wanna ask, vote them up. And then when we do the Q&A with each, with each one of the speakers, I'll be sure to ask that question.